from Discovery News, Wind Power Without the Blades, Big Picks, by Elisa Danicellis. Noise from wind turbine blades, inadvertent bat and bird kills, and even the way wind turbines look have been made installing them anything but a breeze. New York design firm Atelier DNA has an alternative concept that ditches blades in favor of stalks. Resembling thin cattails, the wind stalks generate electricity when the wind sets them waving. The designers came up with the idea for the planned city, Mazdar, a 2.3 square mile automobile free area being built outside of Abu Dhabi. Atelier's DNA's Windstock project came in second in the Land Art Generator Competition, a contest sponsored by Maz Madsar to identify the best work of art that generates renewable energy from a pool of international submissions. The proposed design calls for 1,203 stalks, each 180 feet high, with concrete bases that are between about 33 and 66 feet wide. The carbon fiber stalks, reinforced with resin, are about a foot wide at the base, tapering to about two inches at the top. Each stock will contain alternating layers of electrodes and ceramic discs made from piezoelectric material, which generates a current when put under pressure. In the case of the stocks, the discs will compress as they sway in the wind, creating a charge. The idea came from trying to find kinetic models in nature that could be tapped to produce energy. In the proposal for Mazdar, the windstock wind farm spans 280,000 square feet. Based on rough estimates, said Nunez Ameni, the output would be comparable to that of a conventional wind farm covering the same area. Our system is very efficient in that there is no friction loss associated with more mechanical systems, such as conventional wind turbines. Each base is slightly different and is sloped so that the rain will funnel into the areas between the concrete to help plants grow wild. These bases form a sort of public park space and serve a technological purpose. Each one contains a torque generator that converts the kinetic energy from the stalk into energy using shock absorber cylinders similar to the kind being developed by Cambridge, Massachusetts based Levant Power. Wind isn't constant though, says Nunez Ameni, says two large chambers below the whole site will work like a battery to store energy. The idea is based on existing hydroelectric pumped storage systems. Water in the upper chamber will flow through turbines to the lower chamber, releasing stored energy until the wind starts up again. The top of each stalk has an LED lamp that glows when the wind is blowing, more intensely during strong winds and not at all when the air is still. The firm anticipates that the stalks will behave naturally, vibrating and fluttering in the air. Wind stalk is completely silent and the image associated with them is something we're already used to seeing in a field of wheat or reeds in a marsh. Our hope is that people living close to them will like to walk through the field, especially at night, under their own private sky of swarming stars. After completion, a wind stock should be able to produce as much electricity as a single wind turbine, with the advantage that output could be increased with a denser array of stocks. Density is not possible with conventional turbines, which need to be spaced about three times the rotor's diameter in order to avoid air turbulence. But wind stocks work on chaos and turbulence, so they can be installed much closer together. Nunez Ameni also reports that the firm is currently working on taking the wind stock idea underwater, called wave stock. The whole system 
would be inverted to harness energy from the flow of ocean currents and the waves. The firm's long-term goal is to build a large system in the United States, either on land or in the water.